Hey guys, Retro Ronnie S. Hunter here, and I know what you're thinking. Two videos in one week, what's the special occasion? Well, it was Half Price Books 20% off sale this week. Um, I went back to pick up my stuff that I talked about in my last video that I had on hold. Um, nothing too major, I'll show you what I got. I, I got, uh, don't pick up there. I got Zillion for the Master System. Um, then I picked up Archon. It's got some writing on there, but I'll get that off. And I didn't have this game yet, so it's another one towards the complete set. I got Willow. And did not have that one either. And this game I had, but it felt kind of heavy, so I picked it up and took a risk on it. I picked up Gyromite, and it did have the Famicom converter in there, which was really cool. Um, I didn't have the converter um, or any games with the converter, so that was kind of cool to get. And lastly, I picked up, uh, it doesn't have the game, but the game's fairly common, so I'll have to pick it up sometime or another. But for PS1, I picked up Time Crisis in the box. The back of the box is a little mangled, um, but I was, mainly this is going to be for display purposes only. Um, when I get the game, I'll play it. I love Time Crisis, so it's kind of cool. Got, got the gun. Uh, that was only like five bucks or so, so... Uh, with the 20% off, it wasn't a bad deal at all. So I was just planning on walking away with that, and all that stuff at 20% off was a great deal. But I went over to the buy counter because I noticed they had some systems there that I might be considered getting. Um, they had a Dreamcast complete in the box. They had a NES uh, deluxe set with Rob the Robot in the box. Um, but I asked her if she had any more games. And she's like, oh, yeah, we got a box down here. Let me take a look. What are you looking for? I'm like, oh, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, stuff like that. So she goes down and she's like, well, I got Metroid in the box, I got uh, Metal Gear in the box, and these were in mint condition. And it must have been a collector who traded them in because they had the clear box protectors around them. But uh, I, they really didn't interest me because I, I really don't have a need for the boxes, I really don't collect the boxes, um, unless it's a really, really good deal, and they were, weren't really good deals. I'm like, oh, do you have anything else? She's like, oh, we got some Super Nintendo games. Um... We got, like, Mario and Mario Kart, and then she started listing off the rest. And I'm like, I started shaking. I'm like, uh, could I get a price on those? And she's like, okay. So she came back with the prices, and they were actually pretty good prices for what the games were. Um, the poor bastard who traded them in only got $10 for each game, and... If it was a collector who traded them in, he got screwed, but he might have needed cash. I don't know. I don't want to make assumptions, but um, I picked two out of the four that I really wanted, um, and I paid 70 each, which is still a really good deal. It's only about half of retail, because um, the games are pretty uncommon. Um, the two games that I picked up are Mega Man 7 and Mega Man X3. Um, the games are dirty a little bit, like the residue over here is just, I, it, it's gonna come off, and um, there's just like a little dirt on the sides of the cart. But other than that, there's like a tiny, tiny nick, I don't know if you can see, on X3, but it's really not a big deal, I mean, at all. Um, I couldn't believe it when she pulled these out. She, the other games they had were Mega Man, they had all the Mega Man X's, they had X1, X, X2 and X3. I didn't feel comfortable paying 60 for X2, because I think you can get it cheaper. Um, they had Final Fantasy 3, uh, and then these two were the, the cream of the crop that they had, and I was like texting Business 17, I'm like, oh man, I'm like freaking out here, you know, like I, I couldn't, I really couldn't believe it. Um, I was hoping I'd catch them slipping and say they say like twenty dollars or something like that, but she even said on the computer like they were going for one fifty, but she priced it at seventy. So I I don't know if she gave me a deal, but either way it's a deal. So I got these two and I'm really excited. Um I'm gonna play them through for sure. Um I don't know if my PlayStation Mega Man oh it's just the Mega Man I have Mega Man X collection for the PlayStation. So, I mean, I I already have X3 here, 
Um, I don't know if I'm going to be using these as trade bait or not. I mean, I, I probably could get some really, really good stuff for this as far as NES goes, which would really help my collection. But I love Mega Man. Mega Man's my favorite series in, like, everything other than, like, you know, well, NHL, but no one really... Well, there are hardcore, like, Madden fanatics and stuff, but other than, like, that game, like, the NHL series, Mega Man is by far my favorite, and part of me wants to keep it for the collection, but the other part of me is saying, you know, trade it off, but I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to play them through first. And then if it's something I want to keep, then I'll just keep. But if not, hey, if you got if you guys are interested in trading for any of these games, let me know. Maybe I'll consider it. Who knows? But yeah, I paid seventy each, and then I had twenty percent off. So whatever that works out being like fourteen dollars off or something like that. So it was a really really good deal. Um, but yeah, if you have any half price, I mentioned this in my last video. If you have any half price books near you, go this weekend. Twenty percent off. So you might get lucky and find something, you know, like this. So that's it. Um, I'm probably going to hold off on game hunting for this next week. I'll probably go out the week after, um, try to go to a flea market or something, some garage sales since I have, I'm on vacation. But, yep, thanks again, guys. Have a good one. Bye.